Federico Garcia Lorca's Divan de Tamarit, Lament for Ignacio Sanchez Mejias is a profound and emotionally charged collection of poems that reflects both the personal grief of the poet and the broader cultural significance of the figure it memorializes. This work, part of Lorca's Obras series, is a poignant tribute to Ignacio Sanchez Mejias, a beloved bullfighter and friend of Lorca, who died tragically. Through its lyrical and evocative language, the collection not only mourns the loss of a friend but also delves into themes of mortality, art, and the interplay between life and death. The collection is structured around a series of sonnets, each contributing to a larger, unified narrative of lamentation. Lorca's choice of the sonnet form is significant, as it allows for both structural discipline and emotional intensity. The sonnet's traditional form, comprising 14 lines with a specific rhyme scheme, provides a framework that contrasts with the depth of sorrow and personal reflection expressed within. This juxtaposition enhances the impact of the poems, allowing Lorca to explore and convey the complexities of grief with both precision and passion. In these sonnets, Lorca employs rich, symbolic imagery to evoke the figure of Sanchez Mejias and the nature of his death. The poems often reference the bullring, an emblematic setting that signifies both the courage and the ultimate vulnerability of the bullfighter. Lorca's use of vivid and sometimes surreal imagery connects the reader to the visceral experience of the corrida, capturing not just the physicality but also the emotional weight of Sanchez Mejias's profession and demise. One of the collection's central themes is the relationship between art and death. Lorca, known for his deep engagement with the arts, uses the poems to reflect on how Sanchez Mejias's death intersects with his own artistic sensibilities. The poet mourns not only the loss of a friend but also the loss of a figure whose life was inextricably linked to the dramatic and tragic elements that Lorca himself often explored in his work. The poems are infused with a sense of existential questioning, pondering the nature of art and its ability to capture and immortalize the fleeting moments of human experience. The sonnets also grapple with the idea of memory and legacy. Lorca's elegy is not merely a recounting of Sanchez Mejias's life and death but an attempt to ensure that his friend's legacy endures. Through the act of writing, Lorca seeks to preserve the essence of Sanchez Mejias, transforming personal grief into a shared cultural experience. The collection becomes a testament to both the poet's personal sorrow and his broader desire to contribute to the collective memory of Spanish culture. Another prominent aspect of the collection is its exploration of the theme of the tragic hero. Sanchez Mejias is portrayed as a figure of both grandeur and vulnerability, embodying the classical notion of the tragic hero whose fate is sealed by forces beyond his control. This characterization is enhanced by Lorca's use of language, which elevates Sanchez Mejias's life and death to a mythic level. The poet's language imbues the bullfighter's story with a sense of timelessness and universality, transforming a personal loss into a symbol of broader human experiences. Lorca's Divan de Tamarit, Lament for Ignacio Sanchez Mejias stands out not only for its emotional depth but also for its innovative use of traditional poetic forms to express modern existential concerns. The collection reflects Lorca's ability to merge personal and cultural narratives, creating a work that resonates with both individual and collective experiences of grief and memory. Through his masterful use of language and symbolism, Lorca provides a moving tribute to his friend while also exploring the enduring themes of art, death, and legacy.